So, the sun is not trying to be my friend right now. Um, but I figured I, okay, let's start over. <laughs> So I'm bad at vlogging, but a lot of people were saying that they would like to see, I guess, more personal type things or vlogs or so. So I'm really not doing any much today, but I figured I would um, try to vlog and see what I come up with. My, um, I recently got this camera. It's the Sony A5100. Um, it's pretty, like it's super light, a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I figured it'd be pretty good for like vlogging and chit chat type things and also to like take selfies with. So of course it has that flip up camera and I'm trying to get used to staring right here and not looking at myself the entire time. Anyway, I just came from the gym. I have not been in forever. I have a mud run in like a couple of weeks and I'm completely out of shape. Regardless of how thin I look, I'm just out of shape. Um, so I'm trying to prepare myself for that because I imagine it's going to be a whole bunch of like upper body stuff and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm doing it with a couple of girls from work and I know it's going to be running. That I think I'm fine with, but like the upper body stuff where you got to climb over something or pull yourself up over something, that's going to be a wrap for me. And I'm, gonna, I'm seriously going to be like, look, you already got my money. So if I choose to walk around this wall instead of climbing over it, just let me do that. Okay. Cause I'm not trying to die. Um, so I'm trying to just like condition myself for that and also just to be more physically active because I need it. It's, you know, summer's gonna be here soon. I wanna be more confident in swimsuits and just like overall better physical health. So I went to the gym. Today I kinda just like, I started out doing cardio. So I was doing like intervals um, cause I think that's like the best way to like burn fat. So you like sprint really fast, you walk for a little bit, sprint really fast back and forth. And then I did um, a lot of just like arm and back stuff today. Um, so I'm trying to get on, a, I'm trying to get on like make myself get on a schedule of like focusing on one thing each time I go to the gym instead of just like doing a whole bunch of mess or whatever. Uh, yeah. And I really like, I got these leggings from, um, where did I get these leggings from? Oh, Victoria's Secret. Cause they come in long length. So if you're really tall like me, then check out Victoria's Secret because their leggings come in like tall and like extra tall or long and extra long or something. So I'm gonna show you these. They have like, so this is what they look like. And I thought they were super cute because they have this like mesh paneling all down the side. They're like really high waisted as you can see there. So they like suck you in and then they're like super long. So that's pretty much it um yeah so i got a couple things that i need to return to sephora that i got from the vib sale because they're just not working and i spent a lot of money and i'm at the point where i don't want to be a hoarder i have a lot of makeup i like using ma my makeup and i feel satisfied when i finish stuff so i don't want to just like have stuff that i'm not obsessed about no let's let 2017 be the year of no clutter no excess stuff period in every aspect of your life if it's not doing something for you then let's get rid of it okay so what i come in here for oh yeah yeah am i the only person that like doesn't like to go in sephora without like makeup on <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm super vain okay so i was gonna put like a little bit of concealer and powder on just because i don't want to go in sephora like bare naked face because i feel like they're gonna judge me <laughs> i'm like girl you don't know what i can do okay don't be yeah you don't know what i can do all right, so don't mind my bed. I did not make it this morning. Block that out. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of this like Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under my eyes. I had an eye appointment like super early this morning at eight o'clock. And let me tell y'all something. So I have like insurance through my job or whatever and I got the more expensive insurance plan because it has like no co-pays and then, you know, like a lower deductible, I think. Yeah. Um, and the insurance plan I got included like an eye exam. So I guess I was thinking, oh, I don't need to get the separate eye insurance because my medical insurance comes with a free eye exam. 
Okay, so I get my eye exam done and there's like no copay and they're like, oh yeah, you don't need you know, to pay for this visit, we'll file your insurance. And then I'm, I need contacts, I wear contacts. And um, I got like a six month supply of contacts. So I'm like, okay, can you just tell me how much my insurance is gonna cover for my contacts? And she was like, oh, I don't think it covers contacts. I'm like, wait, what am I paying for? <laughs> so <laughs> I guess the plan I have only covers for a free eye exam every year, doesn't cover for, um, contacts and or glasses. So of course I had to pay the $80 out of pocket to get my daggone contacts because I need those and I only have one pair left. So moral of story is people pay attention to your medical plans if you have insurance and what exactly it covers. I'm just using some of this. Um, this is the Cover FX press powder in G60. It just a light dusting. My skin's been doing so, so, so much better. Ump Flo came to visit, so of course I got like some hormonal breakouts down here. And I'm just like, dude, at 31, can you leave me the alone? Zits have been bothering me. Like, you know, all of my 20s and then half of my teens. And I'm just like, when, when are you gonna leave me and go bother somebody else? And I'm just gonna do a little bit of this, um, Matte Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. I use it as a bronzer. It's pretty natural looking. Okay. So I go to work tonight from 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. Um, so it's funny that I consider it like a quick, I consider an eight hour shift a quick shift because <laughs> normally my shifts are 12 hours long but i'm just going to show you the things that i got that i'm returning to sephora okay so the first thing is this bite beauty high pigment lip pencil and it was in this color tulip it's just like a hot pink and when i tried it on i was like it didn't really do anything for me plus i have something similar to it so i'm just gonna take it back it's not the color i thought it was and then the tarte poreless mattifying primer i tried this and it definitely didn't work like my Hourglass or my Becca primer. So I was like, we going back. And then I got the Marc Jacobs uh, Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation. I wanna try this, but this color golden medium is way too light, way too light. I got put it on and I was like, I can't even make this work and I'm done. Um, so if they don't have a color that I like for however much money I paid for that, it's going back. And then the Tardis Lip Paint in Bestie. It was cute, but it's just like another nude and I feel like I have so many that I need to finish up. It was nothing like special. So all that's going back if I don't find anything to replace it with, at least that's just my money back. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My apartment is like a mess behind me because I'm like, during the week, I just like work so much that I just, it gets, messy with just like stuff everywhere like my mail and all this or whatever and then i um just like clean up on my digs off <laughs> oh so i got these irresistible me tape in hair extensions that i'm going to do a review on in a bit and <laughs> i don't know what's up with me y'all know me and my hair have been going through some things so the first color i got was um light brown and i don't know why i thought i was a light brown because my hair was like starting to fade and i could see some of the blonde peeking through and it was way way too light for my hair so I sent them back and got the dark brown and it's like Kelly this isn't not a match whatsoever so I'm just gonna dye. I'm gonna buy some hair dye and I think I'm just gonna dye these They're, this is like a sample for the tape and extensions that way I can actually try them so I'll straighten my hair which I haven't done in a couple of months and put those in and do a review um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go to Sephora. I doubt I will vlog in there because I'm not completely comfortable with it, nor do I know if they allow it. Um, but when I get back, um, I don't know, I guess I'll just take you with me for the rest of the day. I need to eat lunch. I need to make some lunch is what I need to do to save these coins. Um, yeah. All right, so I got my stuff. Let me get my receipt. Oh yeah. Oh, so let me tell y'all what I did the other day. The other week I was trying to be cute and made a um, like DIY, uh, oh, so 
sorry. I'll turn that down so y'all can hear me. So the other day I like caught myself trying to be cute and I was like, I'm gonna make a, a hair mask for my hair just using like some stuff I have around the apartment. So I went and picked up a, why are you so dark? I went and picked up a um, avocado and a banana and I just threw a bunch of oils in it. Oh, it's so dark, so dark. So I call myself making like a hair mask for my hair and I went and got an avocado and a banana and I was like, I'm just gonna put a bunch of oils in it. So I had olive oil, some peppermint oil, jojoba, uh, coconut oil and I like mixed it up and I think where I went wrong is that I needed a, <laughs> not that I needed, but I should have used a blender. Uh, I should have used my blender and mixed it that way instead of just mashing it up with a fork because I didn't get all the lumps out of it. And um, I put it in my hair while I was in the shower, which I think is like my second mistake. I should have gotten out of the shower after washing my hair and put it in there. So it was like chunks in my hair and then it started to clog the drain and there were like chunks of avocado and banana in the shower with me. It was clogging the drain. And I'm telling you, one of the things that freaks me out in life is when the water starts to like get above your ankles in the shower, I'm just grossed out by it. Um, so I get out of the shower, I leave that mess in my hair and then I'm like, have this big tail bottle of Drano. And I'm like, I'm gonna pour this whole bottle of Drano down the drain and then you wash it down with like hot water and it's supposed to help. So I had it in the drain and 15 minutes later I go pour the hot water down the drain and like chunks of the banana and the avocado just like come bubbling back up. I'm like, that was an epic fail. And then I go to wash the mess out of my hair and y'all, I can't, I can't get it out of my hair. I don't know how to get it out of my hair. I wash my hair and I didn't want to hop back in the shower with it clogged up so I just bent over the shower wash tried to rinse all that mess out of my hair couldn't get it out and so then I was like well I'll just lean over the sink in my kitchen and do it did that twice and pulled the little nozzle out so you can you know move it around and get all up in there and still couldn't rinse it out of my hair and then I'm like well, what am I supposed to do so at that point I'm like super frustrated because it's just chunks in my hair and I'm like yo my hair is gonna start to stink if I have like old tail avocado banana stuck in it for like three or four days. I don't know if it was too much protein in the banana and the avocado because my hair started to feel a little stiff. So I'm like, well, obviously at this point I need a moisturizing deep de treatment, right? So I'm like, okay, I'll just slather my hair with my, um, I have that Diva Curl Heaven and Hair. And then I also have the, um, what's it called? Oh, some coconut oil. So I drenched my hair in coconut oil and the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair and it feels great. I'm able to like start slipping and sliding some of the chunks of banana and avocado out of my hair. So I go to sleep with that in my hair, wake up and then I was like, I gotta go to, well I go to, no I keep, I put that in my hair and then I'm like, well I gotta go to Target and get some more Drano because my drain is like clogged. So I go to Target, get some more Drano, come back, pour that down there more hot water finally gets set to working and then i'm like well i need to clean my shower because i had dyed my hair a couple days before that and it was just um like purple every hair dye always like washes out purple so of course my shower had just had like a tint of purple to it so i bleached the shower finally get that clean and then you know the next morning i wash out the the like coconut oil and the heaven and hair. Still got chunks of banana and avocado in my hair. <laughs> and I'm just like, what is all this? Like I'm, I was still finding pieces of it days later. Every time I go to like shake my hair out. I even washed my hair with shampoo again, thinking that that would help. And there were still pieces in there. So I'm like, okay, either one, I needed to use a blender or two, I just can't be doing this again. Cause my hair didn't want to let it go. So I just came out of Sephora and I returned all that stuff that I was showing y'all and I was going to get a different shade of the Marc Jacobs foundation. Um, but like the next shade up was barely any darker. And then two shades up from that was technically like four shades darker. <laughs> so it was too dark. And then I was like, okay, I could use it in the summer, but I just didn't really, honestly, I just didn't feel like dealing with it. Um, so I just got another, sorry. 
so I just got a full another of the and a bigger size another of the Ole Henriksen invigorating night transformation gel that I love they repackaged all their skincare so this used to be in a green bottle and now it's blue um, but this is like to even evens tone and smooths texture it's like an AHA complex so basically like a overnight exfoliant slash peel and I love it I think it's really been helping with the texture and like actual like little breakouts that I would have it would definitely like decrease the size of it so I just got another one of those because I know I was gonna love it it's like 3 30 right now I want to go and like film I'm gonna try to go home and film like my curly hair routine because I haven't done one and I want to like show y'all the damage of my hair because I know when it's curly it looks cool but I'm just like show you the wash like what it looks like after I wash and condition it and it's completely different from like when it dries I came to Target because I need to get a prescription and then I want to get some hair dye for my clipping extensions so let's see what color colors they have my natural hair has started to like fade the black has started to fade after a couple months so I went in with like a dark 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 brown which is pretty much black <laughs> um it's i guess like a 1b but it looks black and so i guess i'll just get something that's like super dark brown or like a soft black to dive in i really like the fairy a brand because it does a lot of like natural highlights but they don't really have like a brown they have a deeply brown but i feel like the the extensions are already this color and then the next darkest color is like blue black I don't want to go that dark let's see and then I like Nutrice a lot too I might try this Olea I've never tried this because they have a darkest brown which pretty much looks like what my hair color looks like now anyway oh here's the reference guide Um, maybe I'll go with this. And I don't know if I need two or one. I probably should go with two. What on earth is dark platinum brown? Oh, it's like a cool metallic. It's like a cool brown. Meh. I think I'll go with the darkest brown. We'll get two of these. These are new, these are like satin. Look at So these are satin smooth. I guess they don't tug. These are the best bobby pins around because they are curved. I don't know if you can tell, but they're curved so they actually fit like the contours of the head. And they're much more comfortable. Sorry if I was like super quiet in Target and you could barely understand what I was saying. It's just so like awkward. I really shouldn't care, but it's just awkward. Anyway, I went to Chick-fil-A and got, this is the frosted strawberry lemonade. And I'm telling you, if you have not tried it, I don't know what you're doing. The frosted lemonade was bomb. And this tastes like a like strawberry creamsicle lifesaver. If you know what I'm talking about. The one that was like strawberries and cream or something. It's so good. So I got that and some fries. Cause so I just got that and some fries. Cause to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of like Chick Fil A's chicken. <laughs> it's like okay, but I don't necessarily like. I'm never craving it. Okay, so I realize that it's late now, and I remember I told you guys I was going to work from like 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. They called me at like 5.45 right after I had gotten out of the shower, of course, to tell me that they were calling me off. They didn't need me to come in. Um, so a lot of times, it was an extra shift. So um, a lot of times if we are like overstaffed or if the census is really low, they'll start calling off people who are uh, the most expensive for them to work at the moment. So they'll call off like your PRN people, uh, your per diem people who are making like a, you know, 
a whole lot they'll start calling out people who are in overtime which is going to be me um just you know for budget concerns so they called me off for the whole eight hours i was happy i was able to film you see my little setup my filming setup there back there um but i did my curly hair routine because i didn't do it before i was supposed to go to work and i'm in the middle of air drying my hair um and that's it i'm trying to stay awake so i can show y'all the end result of my curly hair but i'm just getting tired i was getting tired but it's like super yellow orange in here so sorry for that i'd say it was a pretty uneventful day i mean any day that i go to target i enjoy um but i mean in real life people really aren't doing something like super duper spectacular every single day are they i mean if they are then i'm just lame but anyway I would try to do more of these like day in the life weekly, not like weekly vlogs, but like day in the life vlog or full week vlog or something like that. Um, or if you guys have any like chit chat vlog topics that you want me to like discuss or whatever, leave them in the description box, um, in the description box. I mean, in the comments down below, it's late. It's like 11, 12 and I'm trying to like stay awake. I might need to catch me a nap and wake back up at like three or whatever to finish this video. But anyway, thank you guys for sticking through if you're still watching. Um, yeah, thumbs up this video if you want me to continue doing these. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you, first of all, make sure you're subscribed because sometimes YouTube be tripping and they be unsubscribing you from folks that you think you're subscribed to. So make sure you're subscribed Hit the notification button so you know when I upload and yeah. Oh, and I also want to tell you guys, I'm going to start a, I've been pretty consistent about it, but I haven't really announced it, but I'm going to start an upload schedule of, I really can only commit to commit to one video a week. Like I know I can do one video a week and I want to do on Wednesdays, just smack dab in the middle of the week. I feel like people, you know, have woken up by Wednesday and they'll be, watching for videos i don't really have a specific time probably like early like early evening like three four five somewhere around there or whatever but definitely watch out for a new video from me on wednesday of each week um yeah and then if i happen to get an extra video up that week it'll just be a bonus video and i'll announce it when it's upload but definitely check wednesday i'll continue to like um, post it on my like Instagram story as well as my Snapchat. So follow me on both of those as well so that you'll be aware of like when I upload, okay? Thank you guys so much as always for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.